from the wide open spaces of beautiful Oklahoma. The 67th National Specialty Show for 1981, hosted by the German Shepherd Dog Club of Greater Tulsa and sponsored by the German Shepherd Dog Club of America. Judges for this year's program are Walter Frost, Connie Beckhart, Ernie Loeb, and Ralph Roberts. This is Carmen Battaglia, and with me is Mr. Bill Collins, president of the German Shepherd Dog Club of America. Bill, you've been elected to membership now for the third year, and I know you have to be proud of that record. Well, I think it is it's something that would make anybody very proud, Carmen. Uh, to think that the people have the confidence in me to ask me to lead the club for another year is certainly quite a compliment to anyone. Uh, I just hope that I can fulfill their, their uh, wishes and that I can uh, carry, get some of the programs that carried out that, that we have started this year and uh, some that I would like to start this year. Well, it looks like we're going to have a good, strong entry. There is no question about that. The quality is going to be very good, exceptional, in fact. By the way, I want to be sure and compliment you on your, on your work on this videotape. It's been fantastic, and I'll, I want to put my order in this year, right now, for this, this film that we're making this year. Great. Okay, then we're going to get it to you. All right, let's get the show on the road. Okay. I'm sitting here with Connie Beckhart. Uh, Connie, what's, a, what's about to happen? Uh, well, Carmen, uh looks to me as though Dr. Frost has got his dogs pretty well lined up, and I think he's probably going to pick his winners right now of the Futurity class. Best and best of opposite in the Futurity. A lot of excitement about that. Yeah, yeah there sure were. I guess he's picked. Uh, there she is. There's the first place. A beautiful bitch. Lovely type. Sure that he's very proud of his choice. Oh, I think he was pleased with both the, the Futurity winner and the Best of Opposite. Very handsome young dog, lovely pigmentation. Now here's the side gating of the two dogs again, his first to place uh, Futurity winner and the Best of Opposite. Mm -hmm. Gives you a chance to see them all running together. Got uh, more than just his winners here, which is nice. Get an idea of the whole class. Looks like this is going to be the best in maturity. Yes, and there's the first place winner. Marvelous looking bitch, isn't she? Just striking. Couldn't ask for prettier tight than that. Beautiful pigmentation. Both dogs. Nice black saddles, nice rich colors. And this is certainly a masculine dog, too. Nice to see something so masculine. There goes that winning, that bitch again, just in motion. You can see her. Well, she certainly had a good day. Mm -hmm. She's a lovely, lovely animal. Well, this is the best of opposite, and if I remember right, you know, he went on to become a select dog. Mm, not so sure about that. Yeah, I guess he did. Well, I see you getting ready to uh, start your first class. These are your six to nine puppy bitches. Uh, Carmen, it was a beautiful class. I really enjoyed judging it. It was a nice way to start the day. Temperaments were wonderful. Puppies were full of personality and so much fun. This beautiful little girl, uh, look at her lovely, lovely type. Uh, just six months old, nice forehand, strong back, beautiful hind quarter, very expressive head, and just full of fun. Second bitch was also beautiful type, marvelous pigment, very smart, sharp looking head, don't you think? Third bitch was very attractive also, a little, uh, not quite as full of personality as my first two, not quite as ring wise as my first two. And this gorgeous creature, she was large and I had a question her age, but what a gorgeous type she is, what a beautiful girl. Now here's the first place winner in motion, you can see how clean she is going away, see how, uh, Happy she is. She, her, her tail is just going, almost wagging as she runs. Uh, 
second place bitch was not as steady. Notice, uh, didn't really settle down and move quite as steadily as my first place bitch. Wasn't really as ring wise, but marvelous pigmentation. And watch as she comes down here. Isn't she lovely? That nice forehand, beautiful expression. This bitch, as you can see, isn't putting out quite as much as the first two were. Uh, very clean coming and going, though. She was very sound and very nice. And here's my big, beautiful girl who I just love to take home and look at. She's such a pretty picture. Very clean coming and going. A little bit mature for her age, but hopefully she'll stop right here and be gorgeous. Well, here's Ernie Loeb, and uh, he's getting ready with his uh, six to nine puppy dog class. Unfortunately, Ernie couldn't be with us, but uh, he did send us a tape of the various dogs in his classes, and we'll be hearing from him uh, throughout the uh, tape. Hmm, it's a nice youngster he has there. Yes, this is the first, first place winner. Very attractive, expressive looking. This must be a second place dog. Yes, it? yes it is, it is the second place dog. Nice sable. Beautiful head, look at that black mask. This one's a little closer coupled, you notice. And here's another well pigmented animal. I'm glad to see pigments coming back. Mm, me too. First place went to Joe Cross Reagan. He's sound moving and displays good temperament. Well, there's the second place dog and the third place. Yeah, you can certainly see the differences in, in type and some of those animals. Here comes the puppy bitch 9 to 12 class. I love this bitch. I think she's marvelous. Beautiful top line. Look at that nice high with her. Very expressive, full of personality. Very extreme. Uh, again, a pretty bitch, very pretty. Uh, moved beautifully. I really thought she was quite a lovely animal. Uh, third place bitch. Again, beautiful pigment. And this lovely sable, wonderful pigment on that sable, isn't it? Beautiful type. You watch the, the really outreaching gait of this youngster. She just flew around the ring. Clean going away, notice that? Yes, they're in competition here, and I think uh, looking at it uh, in this perspective really helps us to get an idea about what they really look like and what you were thinking about as you were judging the class. Yeah, it's uh, so interesting to compare one against the other. I wish we had more time to talk about it in great detail. 293. 293. Well, here's Ernie with his next class, and uh, it looks like they're coming into the ring, the 9 to 12 puppy dog class, and here's his first place winner. If I recall, this puppy went on to become the best puppy at the National. Yeah, I think you're right. Not that first puppy. Mm -hmm. This is the second place dog and the third. Sable dog, nice. The winner of this class, he was sound moving and I felt he would be a real contender for winners or reserve. Well, in the winner's class, I thought uh, Ernie really liked that puppy, and uh, based on his performance, it, uh, I thought it had a good chance of uh, maybe even running for reserve. Mm, I think uh, he ended up going best puppy, but I don't think he did anything else. Uh, the 12 to 18 bitch class was another pretty nice class. Uh, kind of like the bitch I have up here in front. There she is. Beautiful pigmentation. Uh, good shoulder. Nice back, but a little overcast over the loin. Uh, this one's a little light in pigment, I thought, but was a lovely moving bitch when she got going. Beautiful, beautiful head on this one. Look at the dark eye. Just love that. Very attractive bitch. And another uh, little bit undeveloped bitch. Notice the forechest is a little flat on this one. She's 
looks a little young. Here's that first place pitch. Very nice in motion, as you can see. Nice forehand, nice follow through behind. A little overcast over the loin, you'll notice. The one behind her is really performing rather nicely now. Took her a while to get started, though. Let's listen to what Ernie thinks about his 12 to 18 class winner. I just tap it down. This 17 month old, very striking, long body black and tan, won this class rather easily. He's a large dog and his light eyes did disturb me quite a bit. His front is not the best and his feet could also be better. There, stay there. Stay. Well, this is the third place winner. And there's the fourth, the black. Stay where you are. We don't see many good blacks around anymore. Second place with von Grunwald's Taurus. This medium to large 16 month old dog carried himself well also. I like to see a bit more bone in a longer croup. He has good depth and moves soundly. There goes that third place winner in his class coming and going. And there's the fourth place. There's the black dog again. We don't see many uh, good blacks, and I'm glad to, uh, to know that uh, we still have some good ones in the breed. Well, there's some well-known faces. I see my wife Nancy, Len, and Kathleen Steen. Marion and Sam Lawrence up there. And there's Gene Tingey's. Here we have the novice bitch class, and this is a beautiful bitch. Another beauty, first and second, both lovely type. Beautiful head on this one. Isn't she attractive? What's that leash hanging down? Uh, very pretty bitch, too. A little low on pastern. Uh, That's good for me. Very nice, uh, attractive looking bitch, too. Shorter couple than the others. Uh, you can see the very outreaching gait in the first place bitch. She really had a very nice stride. Second place bitch was also very nice, not putting out quite as much, not reaching quite as much as the first bitch as you can see, but marvelous type. Third place bitch is also nice gating. Uh, fourth place bitch had a lot of showmanship as you can see. I like this picture of the uh, competitive gating because we get a chance to uh, compare the four dogs as they go around and have an opportunity really to see what kind of dog you really like. Yeah, I guess that's true. And I think, I hope you can see that by and large they're all pretty sound coming and going and they all show very nice temperaments because I am very particular about things like that. Well, there's the official photographer. Well, here are the four novice winners, and I know uh, Ernie had some comments about each, which we'll see in the gating scenes. First, Barron's Brody. He's a friend dog and a good mover. He is a bit short in croup and could have a shorter hack, stronger foreface and darker eyes. His back is firm and he has good legs and feet. Another striking 22 month old, well angulated dog. I was not too pleased with his reaction as to temperament. Oh, 
fourth consecutive appearance in the list of top ten step-ups. At six years of age, he is in his prime and has established his place among the top producing sons. Champion, Super Strong Team, R-O-M, and his project. Champion, Calendar's Image. Number 1002, Jacotas Fandango. Number 1056, Champion Calendar's Incan Warrior. Number 1003, Champion Jacotas Firecracker CD. Number 1004, Sherzar's Nefertiti. Number 1005, Jacotas Dreamweaver. Number 1007, Rayford Rally of Cedar. Number 1008, Champion Roland Green's Show Off. Number 1009, Champion Brim Hall's Supercharger. Number 1010, Champion Kubstrom's Idol. Number 1011, Champion Stonecross Hustler. Number 1012, Champion Emmerheim's Dairy of Merriburg. And number 1013, Champion Jetland's Latin Lace. Our number two, Stud Dog Champion Double Tays Hawkeye. Number 1014, Randheim's Neil Diamond. Number 1015, Randheim's Nevada Smith. And number 1016, Amaranth of Crestview. Our number three dog, again, not with us today, Grand Victor Champion. Mailbox Chad, R-O-L. Number 1017, Champion Pine Beaches Chase of Laurier. Number 1018, Champion Alpine's Bullet of Pine Beach. Number 1018-1018A, Champion Alpine's Banner of Pine Beach. Number 1055, Valmy's Coal Town. Number 1021, K-Mix and Joy Lee of Pine Beach. 1022, Champion Bakken's Glory B. And number 1024, Champion Pine Beaches, Tantara. Our number four, Stud Dog, Colbert's Sirocco of Windy Gale, R-O-M. Number 1025, Kobe Tucker Hills, Charmelita. Number 1027, Champion Kobe's Maserati of Tucker Hill. If the hammers would please raise their hands so the audience know which dog we're presenting. Thank you. Number 1028, Champion Covey's Mercedes of Tucker Hill. Number 
Number 10, Carter, American and Canadian champion, Covey Tucker Hills, Monty Alvin, and American and Canadian CDX. Number 1031, champion Halcyon's Masterpiece. Number 1032, champion Halcyon, Mary Legs. Number 1033, Halcyon's Melody Lingers On. Number 1034, Headacre's Runaway Kid. And number 1037, champion Cubby Tucker Hills, Don Quixote. Our number five, Stud Dog, champion Kismet's Impulse, Von Bismarck. Number 1040, champion Farmills Chance. Number 1038, champion Anton's Lira. And number 1041, Pine Cones, I'm Easy. Unfortunately, our next dog is not with us today, nor is the dog represented by any progeny. However, your number six stud dog. Champion Shaft of Delshire. I don't need to tell you, your number seven, Stud Dog, Champion Colbert Reno of Lakeside, R.O.M. Would the handlers please raise their hands as I read your dog. Number 1043, select champion, Windy Gales Christelle. Number 1044, champion, Brandy von Rosshaus, CD. Number 1045, American and Canadian champion, Jakota's Reflection of Robin. Number 1046, Amady, uh, American and Canadian select champion, Vivera of Windigale. <laughs> Number 1047, champion, Pedicure's Trump of Legacy. Number 1048, champion, Pedicure's Regal Ruler. And number 1049, Bedacre's Tomboy. Our number eight, Stud Dog Champion, Double Tays Hammer, R.O.M. Unfortunately, it's not with us today. However, we do have one progeny representing Hammer. Champion Barons, Oscar. Champion Barons, Oscar. Our number nine, Stud Dog, is also not with us today. But let's have a hand for Champion Eva Hines, Toledo. And our number ten, Stud Dog, also not with us. But let's have a hand for Grand Victor Champion, Langenau's Watson, R.O.M. Watson is represented today by a single progeny. Let's have a hand for Champion Van Cleves, Edge. Champion Van Cleves. And your number one brood bitch, Mara Burns, MS Fortune von Sierra. Number 1055, 
champion Merkel's Vendetta. Unfortunately, our number two brood bitch is not with us today. However, we are pleased to present number two, Arcadia's CJ of Franjo. Our number three brood bitch, Sierra's Hepburn of Meriburn. Obviously, she is not with us today. She is represented today by two progeny. Number 1056, champion Heraheim's Derry of Mary Vern. And number 1057, Micklin's Warden Hale O. Our number four, Rubich, not with us today, champion Valfour's Ilsa Bob Cypress. Champion Ilsa cannot be here today, but her daughter from her last letter, Lisa von Cyprus II, will represent her. Unfortunately, again, not with us today, our number five root bitch, Pet Acres Regal Romper. Number 1059. Champion Pettacre's Tomboy. Number 106 Paul, Champion Pettacre's Regal Ruler. Number 1061, Champion Pettacre's Trump of Legacy. And number 1062, Pettacre's Runaway Kid. Number six, and with us, champion prize Colleen of Big Mason. Representing Colleen, one get champion checkmates gangster. For number seven, Rude Bitch, who is absent today. Just the Joy of Billow, R-O-M. <laughs> Represented by a single progeny, number 1065A, Grand Victor Champion Lacey Bridges of Billow. With us today, your number eight brood bitch, Coberts Zephyr of Windy Gale. Not with us and not represented today, number nine, champion Wallace Rue Gay Debut of Billow. And our last brood bitch, number ten, champion Anton's Harlow. Again, not represented today. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our presentation of the Star Dog Root Bitch. This is really an excellent class. Really was superb. The winner of the class was outstanding. The strongest moving bitch. Uh, second place was a beautiful animal, beautiful type, strong, wonderful brood bitch. The third bitch is a little lower uh, in leg and therefore wasn't quite as outreaching. And my fourth place bitch didn't look as though she had many angles, but boy, when you see her move, you'll see how well she stood up. Now you're going to see the winner of the class going uh, away from me and coming back. And you can see that side gate. Uh, she really uses her front. Her back is strong, her hindquarter follows through beautifully, and she never takes a wrong step. Here you can see that the second place bitch is a little bit longer in middle piece, but has a lovely forehand and beautiful hindquarter, wonderful pigment and a very strong head. 
excellent character. This is that very beautiful third place bitch, a little shorter in forehand as you can see due to the fact that she, her neck is a little shorter and her uh, legs a little short but beautiful type and style. Very clean coming and going. And here's the surprise bitch who has a superb back and therefore she moves very very well and gets better and better the longer she goes. This also was very clean coming and going. All four of those bitches were absolutely true. Don't step in front. Well, this is the first place winner. A very nice uh, dark dog. And the second place. And here's the third place dog. And there we have the fourth place. A nice dark saddle dog. A 23 month old, very striking, large black and tan. He's a bit too refined in head for my liking. His feet and passing could stand improvement. He has a very strong back and a nice long coat and is sound moving at either end. In type, I like this dog better than the first one, but he is not as sound in motion and not even as good as the one placed above him in feet and passing. In third place, low station, black and tan, is fluid in motion, in croup a bit short, and could be better coming at me. A well-proportioned black and tan. He is long and four-faced and has a short croup. He should have a bit more outgoing temperament. Well, this was a big class, Connie. Uh, you had a lot of work cut out for yourself there. And I know you, uh, it, uh, it, it took a while. Uh, yeah, my winner is a lovely bitch, as you could see. Uh, very beautiful. And the second place bitch was a very pretty type. Really lovely. Beautiful high weather. Very expressive looking. Third place, uh, again, was an attractive bitch. Again, beautiful head. And my fourth place bitch was also very, very attractive and, and had a beautiful face. I, I guess I just love beautiful heads, but all those bitches, as you noticed, had nice heads. This first place bitch is a very, very nice mover. You notice she's clean coming at you. Uh, she has a very strong back, a good shoulder opening, and a very nice croup. Second place bitch is not quite as good going away as my uh, first place bitch, as you can see, but uh, very nice from the side. She has a very pleasing side gait. Shows with a lot of animation. This bitch also was clean coming and going and had a balanced, easy gait. Again, a very, uh, notice how excited she was. She must have seen her owner. Now that sort of it was a bad moment for her to do that, but I can't blame a dog for loving the people they live with. I know this was another big class, and uh, Ernie had uh, several comments that he shared with us, and I think we'll just uh, sit here and, uh, and wait for Ernie to uh, tell us what he thought about this class. Very striking and well-proportioned black and tan dog. 
displayed tremendous reach and drive, working himself easily to the front. This is a 22 months old, which should have a stronger foreface. His croup is somewhat steep. He is a fluid mover, but has not quite the freedom in front that the first one displayed. In third place, I had him in front for quite some time, but after some gating and due to his heavy weight, he could not hold up. He is steep in croup and we can pass him. In fourth place, could be improved in rear drive and follow through. Standing, there's little one could criticize on this dog. He's of good type and he's well proportioned. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure to once again present to you our passing parade of great dogs. This parade is dedicated to all the German Shepherd dogs who have made our great great. Those who have won in the show ring and are known to everyone, and those who have stayed at home as guardians and companions, and are only known to their families and friends. Presented to you by the German Shepherd Dog Club of Greater Tulsa Incorporated. Our first dog, would you please welcome Pine Beach's Captain Fancy to be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Patrick here for this. I am Captain Fancy, UDP. Next, Vito Moreno and Connie Beckhardt present American and Canadian champion Colbert Reno of Lakeside, ROM. Second highest living ROM sire. We thought that last year would be Reno's last appearance in the parade of greats at the National since he was 10 years old and the National in 1981 would be so far from home. But if Reno looks as well as he does on the day of this riding, at National time he will greet you once again. Reno has produced close to 50 American champions who come from all different parts of the USA. He has achieved his Canadian ROM with close to 20 Canadian champions. He has two Register of Merit sons and a Register of Merit daughter. He is the sire of an American Grand Victrix and a Canadian Grand Victrix, and also the sire of many select dogs and bitches. Today, Reno says thank you to all the breeders who had faith in him and brought their nice bitches to be bred to him. We wish you all great success, and most of all, we wish you the joy of living with the best of all friends, the German Shepherd Dog. Next, Werner Cuban presents champion Cuba Strong's Kane, R-O-M. Without the benefit of well-known breeders promoting him, or large numbers of champion bitches being read to him. He has earned his place as a producer, repeating as a top 10 sire every year and completing the register of merit requirements by his first, fifth birthday. Now just six years of age, Kane is the fifth highest living register of merit sire. 
with 15 champion offspring to date, and many more well on the way to their titles. Kate is still a fun dog. He was fun to finish, and now it's fun to finish his kids. He is the best producing dog I have had the pleasure of being associated with. Gary Stacy. Next, champion Ruger Himes Florina of Glenlow, 1977. Select. retired and spends her time helping raise Ruger Hines next junior handler. Proudly presented by Linda Fiorini Reed and Jean R. Fiorina, Ruger Heim Kennels champion Ruger Hines, Florina of Glen Lowe. Well there's some of the board members. Mary Roberts, Dave Rinke, Helen Fisher. Here's your class. The open bitch class, a nice class. Uh, bitch with a beautiful shoulder, good top line. Second bitch, also very pretty uh, type. Couldn't be more beautiful. Third place bitch is a little fine in bone for my taste, but uh, when you see her move, she's very exciting. And this is a close couple, uh, very attractive young bitch. Also a beautiful crew. All right, here we have the first place bitch. Uh, she has a very nice shoulder opening. She's got a good back, a very well-shaped croup, nice follow-through behind. Second place bitch is pretty as she can be, uh, not quite as long striding in forehand. Uh, beautiful top line, however, lovely croup and marvelous showmanship, just wonderful. Third place bitch, as you can see, is quite exciting from the side. The crowd loved her. Uh, I found her a little fine uh, in bone and not as nice in head. Also not as good going away. Third place, the fourth place bitch, I should say, is a very attractive bitch. Closer couples, as you can see, than some of the others. Very well balanced. Uses herself very nicely. This two-year-old dog has a beautiful outline. I like to see a stronger full face and a better feet. Second place, he too could be stronger in full face. In third place, his group is a bit short and he lacks in follow-through behind. At the outset, I felt that I would put up this 28-month-old dog. He was a bit overweight and could be harder, especially in motion. His back softened a bit. You see here the bred by exhibitor class in first place. Uh, it was a gorgeous winner's bitch class, but this bitch was the winner all the way. She never faltered. She had a beautiful outreaching gait, excellent shoulder opening, beautiful follow through behind, excellent back, lovely croup, and never, never did she take a misstep. She asked all the time for the win. Running behind her was the American bred bitch, but now when it came to reserve, I picked 
for my reserve, a 9 to 12 puppy bitch. This youngster coming along right now, again with that very outreaching gait, as you can see, beautiful back. She's still playing games, she's full of fun, and something special about her. Uh, here you see a really correct dog. She had no flaws. Uh, she's not over-angulated, but look at the lovely shoulder placement, look at the beautiful top line, the wonderful back and croup. Uh, this bitch a little bit more extreme than the winner's bitch to look at, a little bit longer and stifle. Uh, the very high wither, the beautiful back, beautiful type. She's young, obviously, uh, and seems to use herself very, very well. Well, this is the winner's dog class, and uh, I think we'll see some exciting activity here. The crowd is all excited, and uh, we're just waiting now for the winner, and there it is. Everyone is certainly excited about this. There you have the winner's dog. I think it was close between these two dogs. Ernie kept them gating for a while. And this is the winner's dog. Very striking dog. Very nice type. And this is the reserve winner's dog. There's a nice picture of the winner's bitch and the reserve winner's bitch. Look how nicely they move. And here we have the winner's dog and the reserve winner's dog. Junior showmanship. This was a nice uh, activity we've added to the nationals. So this is the second year for junior showmanship. And there we have uh, two of the uh, juniors working out there. Our judge, Jim Norris. Hopefully we'll see these uh, youngsters competing with the adults more and more as they get older. We already see them uh, from time to time in the ring now, and I think it uh, won't be long before they'll be there right along with everyone else. And here's the winner, Rhett Williams. He's also the young fellow that uh, won last year, so this is the second year in a row for him. Kerry won the novice junior class. And Dina went second, second place in the same class. It was a pleasure to see these bitches all from 7 to 10 years of age, all in good condition and all enjoying the day very much. This is the winner of the class, a former select bitch, very outreaching in gait, marvelous temperament. Uh, the second bitch is a strong, well-balanced bitch, enjoyed the gating very much. Third is a big, strong bitch, black and red, very substantial. Fourth, a smaller bitch, very compact, very well put together, and in marvelous condition. Here's the winner of the class, very outreaching gait, as you can see, and enjoying it very much. This little girl loves the ring as much as her father, Reno, did. She has the same showmanship he had. I'd like to have seen the puppies that came from this deep-bodied, very strong brood bitch. 
I'm sure she's been a marvelous producer. And this little gal looks like she could still be a contender. Very closely coupled, very strong back. The veterans class presented five lovely old timers. Unfortunately, I was forced to choose one of them due to lameness. I shall only describe the winner as I feel it is not fair to some of these champions to criticize some faults that appeared with age. The winner of this class was Champion Bell Vistas Joey Baby, R.O.M. This well-known seven and a half year old dog was in better shape than the last time that I had judged him. He was in beautiful condition and I understand that I gave him his first win at the Tulsa Specialty years ago. There you have this year's highest scoring veteran in trial, Obedience Champion Johnsondale's Cool Caper. You remember her as the 1979 Obedience Victrix. There she appears uh, with her daughter, being held by Mr. Collins. From left to right, you have the highest scoring champion in trial, champion Jakota's reflection of Robin. And next to uh, that dog, you have the representative from the uh, highest winning team, which this year was from Minnesota. The junior handler you see there uh, had an unbelievable score, 198, and was in the uh, novice A class. There's the best puppy, the best puppy uh, competition. Here you have, of course, the winner from each of this, the classes, 6 to 9, 9 to 12, in both dogs and bitches. This is the winner uh, of the best puppy, the male dog. Here we are at the end. All the winners. There's Mr. Collins, president of the club, and Ralph Roberts presenting the rosette to uh, the Grand Victor. There's the Grand Victor. There's the winner's dog. And here they are in order. This is the Grand Victor and the Grand Victrix. This is the winner's dog.
And there you have the best puppy. This is the number two select. There's number three. This is the number five. Number four, as you know, we've already seen is the winner's dog. This is the number six select. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. There's number 10. This is the number 11 select. And number 12. Here we have the number 2 select bitch. There's number 3. Number four. There's number five, and she was also the winner's bitch. There's select number six. And number seven. There's select number eight. There's select number nine. Well, there's the grand victor. And there you have the grand victors. Well, Connie, uh, let's kind of wrap it up. Uh, you judge the bitches. Uh, give us a couple of thoughts uh, to kind of wrap up and summarize what you thought of the bitches you judged. Uh, Carmen, I was pleased. They were very good quality. I found uh, an improvement in pigmentation. I found a uh, very good temperament. I'd like to see better mouths in some of my older classes. They were missing teeth, although my young ones were pretty good. We still could use more forehand, but uh, on the whole, my dogs were sound coming and going. It was a good group of animals. I thought it was a great show. The lighting was good, the Tulsa Club was wonderful to work with, and I just hope we have the same kind of cooperation and facility next year.